What's up, Spine Tick? Sith Lordly here, back with another hockey video. Really enjoyed making yesterday's Connor McDavid drop. Got a lot of great interaction from the hockey peeps on it. I want to keep that conversation going today with Alex Ovechkin. I've got nine of his prospects and rookie slabs to take a look at in my collection. So, Alex is getting real close to that Wayne Gretzky all-time goals record, and that is going to be interesting. Uh, but let's kick it off here with this uh, prospect year 2004 in the game Heroes and Prospects. So Alex uh, was drafted out of the uh, Dynamo Moscow Club. Uh, so there he is. And um, here's the back. And, you know, I mean, granted, this is an upper deck and it's not an NHL sweater, but some of the prices on these when I was getting them were really cheap, uh, you know, relatively to now. I mean, they're still affordable, but you know what I mean? It's Alex Ovechkin. Um, so here's his second uh, prospect year slab, 2004 in the game. Another Heroes and Prospects card. So you can see, right, it's got a little different image, but still the same stylings. So there he is. And there's the back. All right, now we get uh, our last prospect slab, but now it's 2005. So his NHL rookie year, another Heroes and Prospects. Uh, I really like that shot. That's a sweet look right there. Seems like they keep going with the same image on the back. And now we're getting into his actual NHL rookie slabs. Now all of these I should say are PSA 10 except for one. Much like Connor McDavid yesterday and, and that not, not 10 is his most important card in my collection. So here we go, uh, 2005 Parkhurst. Really dig this uh, image as well. And somewhat of a relatively recent pickup. So, um, like I said before, I know some people kind of look down on Parkhurst, but I enjoy all brands, especially Alex Ovechkin. Here's another PSA 10. This is the uh, Alex Ovechkin checklist. There you go. There's some text on it right there, sideways glory, as we say. And then there's the checklist. All right, here's one that uh, I purchased right after the Capitals. Well, it was like they were going to win the Stanley Cup. You know, it was inevitable. Uh, the clock was counting down. So I went on eBay, made this purchase, and, uh, you know, the prices had not yet updated on eBay. So I got a little bit of a deal um, back then. Uh, but 2005 Ultra PSA 10 Ovechkin. And I specifically remember that night. I told Lady Sith, I, I need to buy this right now. Of course, would have loved to have had it earlier, but when you're buying Sidney Crosby and McDavid and Mike Trout and everybody else, I mean, you know. All right, so I mentioned I don't have a PSA 10 on one, and that's this, the Young Guns. And the reason for this is uh, I purchased this in a raw set, and I submitted this to PSA through my LCS, so it came back in 8.5. You know, maybe it could grade as a 9 if I clean it up and resubmit. Whatever, I'm just actually looking to upgrade to a 10, and that's going to cost some bucks. But I've got a pretty big collection of comics and cards, and I enjoy everything in my collection, but there's a lot of fat to trim. So I think what I'm going to do is kind of like reduce quantity and go for quality, and uh, I would like to definitely get this up to a 10 like I did with the Sidney Crosby uh, last year. But nevertheless, it's still a Alex Ovechkin Young Guns rookie, and there's the back. Two more. Uh, we've got the PSA 10 2005 Upper Deck Rookie Class. So there he is taking a shot. Maybe it's warm ups. Um, so that's cool. There's the back. And this last one, I really dig the image. It's a cool design. I've got several uh, players that I collect in this style, in the Upper Deck Power Play with the little kind of like the coin emblem. Uh, so you got the Rookie Redemption there. Old PSA label, as you can see, it's even starting to wrinkle a little bit. And there's the back. So, um, you know, unlike McDavid, where I probably am not adding too many more McDavid slabs for the foreseeable future, other than maybe upgrading his young guns, I am still keeping an eye on these Alex Ovechkins because um, I can still get rookies or prospects. You know, they, they do cost a few hundred bucks at least. But, um, you know, with Ovi eventually going to be the goal leader um, and still, you know, just he's a marvel. Um, and I really like the... Uh, I guess you call it rivalry with Sidney Crosby, but you know they came in at the same year. They got uh, parallel paths. Uh, I'm still looking to actively collect Alex Ovechkin. So hope you enjoyed the video. Drop a comment. You know I'll hit you back, and I'll catch you next time. Sith Lordly out.